this is the April 2021 report for the Great Lakes Current and Historical Water Levels. This podcast is taken from selected excerpts from the Army Corps of Engineers, Detroit District. These are monthly summaries for lake measurement across the Great Lakes. Here is our latest report. All the Great Lake water levels continue to drop from record highs set in 2020. The projected water measurements from April 2nd indicate that Lake Superior and Michigan and Huron's water levels remain nearly the same from our report a month ago. However, Lake St. Clair Erie and Lake Ontario have risen by 2 to 3 inches since early March. Projected lake measurements across all the lakes are tracking below levels from one year ago. However, when compared to the long-term average of a typical April, the projected levels are still tracking above average on all lakes, except Lake Ontario. By May 2nd, water levels are forecasted to rise by 2 to 4 inches on Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron, St. Clair and Erie, while Lake Ontario is forecast to rise by a hefty 6 inches. Here is the specific water level forecast for Lakes Michigan and Huron. As of April 2nd, Lake Huron had dropped 11 inches since March of 2020, dropping 2 more inches during the past month. Levels were down 10 inches from March 2020 and 11 inches below the monthly high record set in 2020. Lake Huron remains at 54 inches above the record monthly low set in 1964. The lakes are expected to rise by 2 inches in mid-April 2021. For reporting purposes, Lakes Michigan and Huron is the same body of water. Turning to the water level forecast for Lake Superior, As of April 2, 2021, the Lake Superior water level is forecasted to be 601.84 feet. This is 9 inches less than the high record water level set in 1986 and 28 inches higher than the lowest record set in 1926. Over the next month, Lake Superior is expected to rise 3 inches. Early projects show that due to La Nina weather patterns of the past, Lake Superior may again approach record water levels during the fall of 2021. Downstate the water level forecast of Lake St. Clair. As of April 2, 2021, Lake St. Clair's water level is forecasted to be 576.02 feet. This is 13 inches less than the high record water level set in 2020 and 49 inches higher than the lowest record set in 1926. Over the next month, Lake St. Clair is expected to rise an aggressive 3 inches. Continuing in southern Michigan and Lake Erie's water level forecast. As of April 2, 2021, Lake Erie's water level is forecasted to be 572.87 feet. This is 13 inches less than the record high water level set in 2020 and 49 inches higher than the lowest record set in 1926. Over the next month, Lake Erie is expected to rise by 5 inches. Finally, the water level forecast for Lake Ontario. As of April 2, 2021, Lake Ontario's water level is forecasted to be 244.62 feet. This is 43 inches less than the record high water level set in 1973 and 21 inches higher than the lowest record set in 1935. Over the next month, Lake Ontario is expected to rise by 6 inches. The April to May downbound outflows expected to be above average. Lake Superior's outflow through the St. Mary's River is predicted to be above average this April. Lake Michigan Huron's outflow through the St. Clair River and Lake St. Clair's outflow into the Detroit River is forecasted to be above average for April. Lake Erie's outflow into the Niagara River is predicted to be above average for April. Lake Ontario's outflow through the St. Lawrence River is projected to be above average in April. Finally, the long-term Great Lakes water level estimates. The outlook from April 2021 for the next month by the Climate Prediction Center shows a possibility of above normal temperatures for April. The forecast for rain in April is equal chances for most of the basin. This means an equal prospect of the basin enduring above, below, or near normal precipitation. The seasonal three-month forecast for temperatures and precipitation in the late spring and early summer, April, May, June, indicate a likelihood of above normal temperatures and above normal rain for all the Great Lakes Basin. The seasonal outlook of above normal precipitation can be partially credited to the ongoing La Nina. For a full report of Great Lakes levels and weekly reports, go to the Army Corps of Engineers, Detroit District for their Great Lakes information reports. We invite you to listen in on our weekly stories from our podcast. Search for The End of the Road in Michigan from wherever you are listening and subscribe. That concludes our monthly summary of Great Lakes water levels. Catch us again next month for an update.
If you have a news tip or a local charity event you would like us to report, contact us on our website, thumbwind.com. Stay tuned to Thumbwind and your local news for more updates. Have a great day. Thank you.